The main gear wheels have carbon disc brakes. The nose gear wheels do not have brakes. The wheel brakes are controlled by conventional brake pedals. Select the hydraulic synoptic. The brake system is divided into the normal brake system and the alternate reserve brake systems. The accumulator is a backup if these fail. Normal brakes are powered by the right hydraulic system. The center hydraulic system automatically powers the alternate reserve brakes after loss of normal brake pressure. The right hydraulic system charges the brake accumulator. The brake accumulator stores pressure if right hydraulic system pressure is lost. Accumulator pressure can be used to set the parking brake or to apply wheel brakes. Pressure is displayed on the brake accumulator pressure indicator. The indicator is located on the forward panel. Anti-skid protection is provided in all braking modes. Anti-skid protects against touchdown skid and hydroplaning. The anti-skid system also provides locked wheel protection. Anti-skid controls each wheel brake independently when normal brake pressure is available. The right forward and right center wheel brakes are also controlled together. The aft wheel brakes are controlled independently. Brake system and tire pressure information are displayed on the landing gear synoptic. Select the gear synoptic. The temperature of each brake is displayed next to each main gear wheel in a scale from 0 to 9.9. .9. The scale value and the brake symbol are white when the brake temperature is in the normal range. The brake symbol for the hottest brake on each truck becomes solid white if the scale value reaches 3.0. When any brake's temperature reaches the high range, the value and brake symbol turn amber. The tire pressure indication system measures the pressure for each nose and main gear tire. Pressure values in the normal range are white. An abnormal condition exists when tire pressure drops below the normal range, deviates from the average pressure, or there is a differential pressure between tires on the same axle. Both tire pressures on the same axle turn amber. The brake system has a conventional parking brake. The parking brake is controlled by the brake pedals and the parking brake lever on the control stand. To set the parking brake, push and hold the brake pedals. Touch the highlighted area. Next, pull the parking brake lever until it locks in place. After the parking brake lever is set, pressure can be released from the pedals. The brake pedals spring back slightly but remain in the extended position. The ICAS memo message, parking brake set, now appears, and the parking brake is set if the accumulator indication is above the amber band.
Hydraulic pressure is now locked in the parking brake until you release it. If the parking brake accumulator indication is near or within the amber band, the ICAST memo message, Parking Brake Set, displays. However, the brakes will not set due to lack of hydraulic pressure. To release the parking brake, push the brake pedals until the parking brake lever falls to the released position. Releasing pressure from the brake pedals now allows the pedals to spring back to the upright position. The ICAST message is removed when the parking brake is released. Select the hydraulic synoptic. The parking brake can be set with normal brake system pressure. If the right hydraulic system fails, center hydraulic system pressure is used to set the parking brake. If the center hydraulic system then fails or is depressurized, pressure stored in the brake accumulator is used to set the parking brake. Loss of pressure in both the right and center hydraulic systems causes the brake source light to illuminate. Set the parking brake with accumulator pressure. Touch the highlighted area. The parking brake is set. The brake system has auto brakes for takeoff and for landing. The auto brake controls are located on the forward panel. RTO is the auto brake mode for a rejected takeoff. It can be selected only on the ground. Select RTO for takeoff. RTO automatically applies maximum brake pressure to stop the airplane in the event of a rejected takeoff. Brake pressure is applied after the thrust levers are retarded to idle above 85 knots. Auto brake RTO can be disengaged by any one of four methods. By rotating the auto brake selector to off, by advancing the thrust levers, by stowing the speed brake lever to the down position, or by pushing the brake pedals. Disengage auto brake RTO with the speed brake lever. The ICAS advisory message, Auto Brake, appears after Auto Brake RTO is disengaged. The Auto Brake selector remains in RTO. Select Auto Brake Off. Select Auto Brake RTO. After takeoff, the Auto Brake selector rotates to off. Auto brakes are disengaged and off. Auto brakes are also used for landing. There is a range of deceleration rates to choose from. Rotate the auto brake selector to 1. The ICAS memo message appears on the ICAS. Select Auto Brake 2. When Auto Brake 1 or 2 is used, wheel brakes are applied after a short time delay. Select Auto Brake 3. Auto Brake 3 and higher do not have a time delay. Select Auto Brake 4. Each higher Auto Brake number corresponds to a higher deceleration rate. Select Maximum Auto Brake. Maximum auto brake is the highest deceleration rate for landing. Only manual braking can apply greater brake pressure for landing.
Auto brakes are applied after landing, after the thrust levers are retarded to idle, and after wheel spin up. Remember, auto brake 1 and 2 have a time delay before brakes are applied. Auto brakes for landing are disengaged the same way as auto brake RTO. Push the brake pedals to disengage the auto brakes. The auto brake selector rotates to disarm, and the ICAS advisory message appears. Auto brakes are disengaged. Rotate the auto brake selector to off. To review the auto brakes, rotate the auto brake selector. To continue the lesson, touch the green arrow. Next, non-normals are presented. The center hydraulic system has failed. Reset the master caution system. Select the hydraulic synoptic in that system. Reserve brakes and nose wheel steering may not be available. Normal brakes are still available. Now cancel the ICAS messages. The right hydraulic system has also failed. Reset the master caution system. Select the hydraulic synoptic. The brake source ICAS advisory message appears because normal and alternate brake pressures are low. The brake source light illuminates as a backup to the ICAS indication. Accumulator pressure is available even after failure of the normal and alternate brake system. The accumulator provides limited brake application during landing and may be used to set the parking brake. Select the gear synoptic. Brake appears on the synoptic when maintenance has deactivated a wheel brake. There is an anti-skid fault for a tire on the right main gear truck. It's on the same truck. Whenever brake temperature exceeds a limit, the brake symbol turns amber and the ICAS advisory message, brake temperature, appears. If an abnormal tire pressure condition exists, the tire pressure values change to amber, and the ICAS advisory message, tire pressure, appears. The auto brake ICAS advisory message appears if there is an auto brake system malfunction for either landing auto brake or auto brake RTO. Additionally, the auto brake message appears anytime auto brakes are disengaged with the thrust levers, speed brake, or the brake pedals. Remember, the message blanks when the selector is rotated to off. The ICAS warning configuration parking brake is displayed. Takeoff thrust was selected with the parking brake set. Release the parking brake. You have electrical power connected during pre-flight. Hydraulic power is off. Set the parking brake. You are ready for taxi. Release the parking brake. Push the brake pedals until the parking brake lever falls to the release position. You are performing the pre-flight procedure. Select Auto Brake RTO. You have been cleared for takeoff.
After the airplane accelerates past 85 knots, you reject the takeoff. Disengage the auto brake RTO mode. You are correct, but normally you disengage auto brakes with the brake pedals, speed brake lever, or the thrust levers. Select auto brake off. You are in a descent to your destination airport. Set auto brake 3. You have landed and slowed to taxi speed. Disengage auto brakes. You are clear of the runway. Select auto brake off.